Professor Fred Ogola. I am the leader of Linda Jami. I'm here with my fellow members of Bunge La Wanainchi, uh, my Lindy chapter. Uh, we are here to address the, the media on the matter where Linda Jami has taken the United Democratic Party, Kenya Kwanza administration to court uh, because they are violating the socio-economic rights and the fundamental rights of the freedoms of Boda Boda and Mamamboga. Uh, so Linda Jami has sued the Kenya Kwanza administration for using the goodwill of Mamamboga and Boda Boda without permission for political gain. The High Court has been asked to fine Kenya Kwanza a total of 426 billion shillings, which is the word for the goodwill of Boda Boda and Mamamboga. Why are we reaching that figure? Uh, Bo uh, Boda Boda and Mamamboga contributes uh, 80%. That whole sector contributes 80% of the, of the GDP. Boda Boda alone contributes 1 billion shillings per year to the economy. If you take annually, that is 365 billion shillings that he contributes in terms of revenue to the Kenyan economy. So we are asking the following. The court should declare that Kenya Kwanzaa administration, their employees and everybody else should not use the term Boda Boda and Mamamboga without permission until this case is heard and determined. Secondly, the court should declare that Kenya Kwanzaa administration should, re, should be able to compensate Boda Boda and Mamamboga a total of 426 billion shillings, which is the goodwill which they used to reach into power. So just to give you a reason why, because when you stereotype and you stigmatize Boda Boda people saying that is a Kali near Boda Boda and Mamamboga, the other people who are not in this government feel that it is the Boda Boda and Mamamboga that brought this government to power, and therefore they are having some bad reaction towards them. There is a bad spirit. And also there is a psychological trauma to the Boda Boda people and Mamamboga people when everybody feels, Waonde wako kwa serikali lakini hawako, ya pili, they also feel trauma because Everybody is feeling that ujeuri yao ndio liweka hii serikali iliweka hii serikali kuchukua uongozi. So we know that during the election 2022 uh, which took place on 9th of August Kenya Kwanza administration using the party called UDA came with a campaign called bottom up and they came with a hustler narrative wakisema watatengeneza serikali ya boda boda and mamamboga. And on that day, which is 9th, Kenya Kwanza swept to power the senators, MPs, uh, uh, MCAs, governors in the wave of Mamamboga and Boda Boda government being formed. In fact, we have been told that there are some members of the, of the MCAs that were actually former Boda Boda and Mamamboga. Whether it's true or not, they were just using that thing as a way to use the goodwill that has been built by Boda Boda Mamamboga over the years. Remember, the history of Boda Boda Mamamboga goes long before Kenya Kwanza was formed, long before UDA was formed, even long before they were born. So they have written on this Boda Boda Mamamboga narrative to take power, and they have peddled a lot of lies and said that they are the ones forming the government, yet that is not true. So these utterances expose these persons to many people in Kenya and outside the country that they are actually the beneficiaries of Kenya Kwanzaa and that actually that is not true and is completely false. So our urge here is that we want to ask courts to declare that Kenya Kwanzaa used the goodwill of Boda Boda Mamamboga and therefore they should stop using it until the case is heard and determined. At the same time, we want to urge um, any other political formation, political body, that you should respect people's businesses. When you use somebody's business to get fame, and then you rise to power, then you forget them. It has been seen on television, the Mamamboga that took William Ruto as the president, uh, uh, as a presidential candidate to Bomas, who introduced him as if he wa she was going to government, she was forgotten. And she has cried that she was betrayed. 
and that color of its shell is traumatous. So this trauma that people are going through, many people are quiet because they are feeling that the president is too strong. The president is threatening everybody with, I have a sword, I have this, I have that. But for us here, we don't want to focus on that. We want to focus on, can you just compensate these people for the goodwill? Or at least give us evidence of the permission they gave you to use it. Anywhere the president talks, whether this uh, in the New Year message, he said he is sorting out Mamamboga and Boda Boda. Anywhere they give report about the state of the nation or the economy, it's always that Boda Boda and Mamamboga are benefiting. The question is, do you know any Boda Boda? Do you know any Mamamboga that has moved from being a Boda Boda and Mamamboga to be in government? If you know any, then the president is right. But if it's not the case, then you need to compensate how he used them to get into fame and power without actually making them um, feel this goodness they have gone. So this petition has been filed. It is now sitting with the Justice Mugambi. The, the court will give direction on the date of listening and mention of this case. It is our hope that we are to a border border, actually, and the court will be able to give the, the border border people actually justice. So we are pleased to say that we have given a certificate of urgency that as they continue talking about border border mawamboga, they continue again to uh, infringe on the rights of the owners of the intellectual property. And I also want to add the border border community. The Boda Boda Association as Linda Jami. Let us go and register the copyright of Boda Boda Mamamboga so that no one can touch it. I know we can go to Kipi and register that goodwill. Kenya Kwanza cannot qualify to be able to register that as goodwill and cannot register that as copyright. Nataka, they register that thing as goodwill and copyright so that they can gain from it. And I want to say that the issue of goodwill is an economic tool. Do you know that the value of Apple? Apple, Apple, just the word Apple, if you want to buy it, it cost $675 billion. Uh, Coca-Cola is around $560 billion. What about Boda Boda? When you walk to this town in Malindi town, Kilifi town, Nairobi town, the thing you cannot miss, you cannot miss to see a Boda Boda. But you might miss to see Kenya Kwanza which means that it's a very big brand which is dominant. M-Pesa is powered by Boda Boda. And they bring a lot to the economy. So we cannot allow them to risk. And why we are doing this, Alinda Jami, why we're asking the court to respond, is because we are afraid that if we continue this conversation until 2027, when things start getting hot, some people might even go to attack some of these people because people think they're the ones who created the government that is here and they, they are not enjoying it. And I want to urge Kenyans, please, when you meet somebody of Boda Boda Mamamoga, please treat them with respect because it is not them that took these people to power. These people rode on their popularity, fame, and goodwill to become, uh, uh, to form the government, and they have not benefited from it at all. So let us not have politics of uh, them and we, we and them. All of us are Kenyans, we have a government, but let us have this uh, peaceful, lasting environment where we can talk together. And I hope that if this Boda Boda and Mamambogas get the 460 billion shillings wired to them through their circles, the way they decide is up to them, they can be able at least to uplift themselves from where Kenya Kwanzaa promised to uplift them from, but actually have left them, because I'm sure they are suffering more than they thought they would. Thank you.